This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, man. Give some context to where we are. Uh, as we mentioned, um, later tonight, we're going to be in East Surrey High School in the B-Town, Roanoke, Virginia, uh, for the uh, A-Show. Mm. The so next day, exciting. we're doing uh, two matinees. Uh, one back here again for a TV taping. And then in Asheville, North Carolina. That's a matinee show. The evening show, the Charlotte Coliseum. So mm. the next night... You guys are at the Coliseum, 12,000 plus. Let's see Dusty Rhodes take on Arn Anderson in a steel cage Texas death match. I wow. would also see Ric Flair take on Magnum TA. They did a two out of three falls match with uh, Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson taking on the Midnight Express. Tully Blanchard was still in there with Jimmy Valiant. Mm. On the 24th, you're in Greensville, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, on the 24th, there's a joint show for. The Meadowlands. That's right. The Meadowlands. Nearly 10,000 people there. It's Jim Crockett Promotions and the AWA. You see Dusty wow. Rhodes team with the Road Warriors to take on the Russians. Flair would take on Magnum. Of course, the Rock and Rolls would take on the Midnights. And how about this? Stan Hansen fighting uh, Sergeant Slaughter to a double countout. That's what wow. closes the show. Wow. A TV taping in Greenwood, South Carolina on the 25th. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have uh, Bobby Eaton and Dennis Condry in action there. Uh, on the 25th, that same day, you're in Columbus, Mississippi. This time, Flair is beating uh, Tommy Rich on top. There's two shows on the 26th, one of which is a sellout. Of course, that's the show with Ricky and Robert on it. The show in Greenwood, Mississippi, again with Flair and Tommy Rich, not a sellout. Uh, we're going to do a sellout, though, in Bennettsville, South Carolina, again with the Midnights and the Rock and Rolls. I think it's going to say the Midnights and the Rock and Rolls at this point are the top feud in the entire promotion. They're selling the most tickets, at least based on percentages of sellouts. Uh, they may be running smaller towns, but you can't get a ticket to see them because they're that hot. And I don't think that everybody was probably expecting that to be the case, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty pr pr phenomenal too. I mean, let's put it in context as we see Bobby climbing the top rope here you know what's coming big leg drop nope the knee drop even bigger but these guys are a top act and dominate the mid-south territory for bill watts and now they come to jim crockett and just bring the same feud and they're setting the territory on fire mm. it's not exactly common where a feud like this or a rivalry could be the top draw in multiple promotions yeah you know, like I right. imagine if all of a sudden, you know, whatever's hot on WWE TV, oh, rock and rolls are out there. Let's track it. Oh boy. He's got rock and roll. Look at him. They just clear the ring. Rock and roll is here to stay. With tennis racket. <laughs> How nice of a touch is that? Rock and rolls get their own tennis rackets and clear out the midnights. Hmm. Got it. Hey. Simple. <laughs> Here's an uh Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.